good pet. Hindsight. It's always numbers. That's why it's easy to look back and say, yeah, Vigo the Carpathian? Of course that guy was going to kidnap a baby and try to possess it and take over the world. That seems obvious, looking back on it. But at the time, you didn't think that. All you thought was, hey, look at that painting. Sure is a, sure is a painting of some guy. Bit of a sissy, too. Anyway, it's the same kind of thing with this game. You look at it and you think, oh, what a sweet little pet game for my kids. Only later on you find out this game wants to possess your kids on a mountain of skulls in the castle of pain. It's me and my pets 3D. Enjoy this. Here you are. So, we might as well just get right to it. This is one of the worst pet games I've ever played in my life. It was just released to the eShop on the Nintendo 3DS, where it's likely to feed on negative human emotions until it can physically manifest itself, at which point we're f***ed. I mean, I play crappy games all the time, that's no biggie. But it's rare that I play something that, like, like legitimately seems to have evil intentions. It's like a man-eating toaster! Let me tell you about my experience with me and my pets 3D. I start the game, and there's a cat that looks like it's about to eat that girl. And like, italics times new Roman. I can't say which one upset me more. So I name my character Hermione, because apparently I have a problem. And from there I get this novel of to read. Yeah, not gonna happen, JK Rowling. I'll just wait for the movie. But then there's a list of objectives in there somewhere, so I know I have stuff to do. But then the game finally starts, and there's no f***ing stuff to do! Hey, me and my pet's 3D. You can't give someone stuff to do, and then not give them f***ing stuff to do! That's the rules! Now, I know some people like when games don't hold their hand, because they like to be independent little flowers that blossom on their time, but there's holding your hand, and then there's chopping it off and feeding it to the sharks. I'm not saying that's what this game does, but... That, that's kind of what it does. This is the most ruthlessly unclear game in history. I spent almost an hour just walking around in this game, just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Because you, get, you don't get a single direction at all, whatsoever, pink freaking slime! So you have to take care of animals, you know that. But you have no animals. You don't even have animal cages. All you have is a crappy piece of land, crappy graphics, and a crappy piece of music that turns all of your confusion into pure anger. Yeah, try listening to that on loop for hours on end. Holy sh I don't think I've ever been so close to drowning myself. And you know, for a game that's ostensibly for little kids, to not provide any direction whatsoever, and not even basic instructions on how to play, let alone what to do, it's pretty inexcusable. You just, you have to just figure things out on your own, which would be one thing, but the game's so poorly designed, it takes forever to figure things out on your own. Again, it's a game designed for children. Are you kidding me? Children of the corn, maybe. But you know, when you finally figure things out enough that things start happening, you see that the gameplay is so terrible, it was, it was almost better when you didn't even know about it. You run this pet hotel, so people bring you pets, and you take care of the pets, and that's the core of the gameplay, caring for pets. It's also a rotten core because this gameplay sucks. You want to give your pets exercise? Oh, get ready to rub them with the stylus for about 10 minutes. Or, hey, maybe play a game? Oh, get ready to rub them with the stylus for about 10 minutes. Freaking thing's 90% stylus rubbing. It's like a stylus pornography. The design is just so clunky, like feeding your pets. Such a simple thing, right? Only this game makes a f***ing Greek tragedy out of it. So if you run out of food, you have to walk back to the house, buy more food, and then walk back to the animals. Oh wait, you didn't drag the food into your satchel? Oh, back to the house, put it in your bag. And thanks for a bag with six slots, by the way. Real helpful. You know, Link has bombs, swords, boomerangs, live chickens on his person at any given time in his fanny pack. I have six rabbit biscuits. Here, this is for you. Here, this is for you. Enjoy this. Look, that this, this is a, Here, just a complete this mess of a game. And I, I mean, I don't think I've ever played a video game that told me less about what to do and was this frustrating when you do figure it out. And by the way, you figure it out slowly. Just 
piece by piece. And with that happening to your ears, I can't imagine a little kid spending more than 10 minutes with this before they get frustrated and just put it down forever. Which works in the game's favor, sadly, as it obviously feeds on your hatred. And your wallet. Thing costs 20 bucks. Yep. It's me and my pet's 3D for the Nintendo 3DS.